Well, I guess to start things off, um, where did this story come from? Was this an experience from youth of a, a young love interest? I mean, where did all this come from? Um, I mean, I can hold this. Um, I think that this movie, this movie came to me at a time. I was 24 when I wrote and directed this movie. It was drawing from my experiences growing up, you know, falling in love with people, falling out of love with people, and then maturing and realizing that there's so much more to a relationship. But at the same time now, a few years, it's been a few years since that time, and I look back at when I was younger and there's something beautiful about that experience too. So I think what's interesting about this movie is that it doesn't say that, you know, the only valuable ex like love is like one that you experience when you're married or that the only valuable experience is when you're young. It's that these relationships are all very unique and unique experiences and they help you learn and grow as a person. So I think this movie explores like sort of love across time, like teenagers falling in love, married couples dealing with like sort of what, you know, the, they're dealing with real problems in the relationship, but like trying to make it work. And I think that there's something really relatable about both of these experiences. Like everyone's sort of gone through that. Was it fun, like the hotel that you got to shoot in and all those great things yeah. location-wise? How much fun was it to, to find the world that this movie was in? Because I think that's another character, yeah. another element. Yeah, so we shot in the Hotel Figueroa for mm -hmm. 16 days. It's a beautiful Moroccan-themed hotel. I believe it's been renovated since. Mm -hmm. um, but at the time, it's... I mean, you walk in there and it's like you're in a different world. Yeah. And I mean, anyone who's been in Los Angeles and gone to that hotel gets a very specific look. And we wanted something that felt timeless. Like, there's no cell phones in this movie. Yeah. Um, there's no computers. And we really wanted it to feel like this This story could take place at any time, you know? And we wanted, we wanted it to, like, take away all that technology and really focus on what relationships are about. And the hotel was such a character because it had this feeling of, like, you know, love is timeless and like love you know can exist in all times and all places and yeah the hotel was a, an amazing you know location to shoot in we shot in there for 14 of the 16 days that we shot and it was amazing the hotel was they were really cooperative and you know supportive of the movie let's talk about this yes. wonderful cast not only yeah. Anna but Isabel I mean this is a a talented young group of females and yeah. Justin in there as well. And yeah, this is a really talented group of actors. Yeah, yeah. No, I had I had lit, like maybe the dream experience that a first time director gets. You don't usually get to work with maybe your like top your top A list people, but I really felt like we got you know actors that were really excited, enthusiastic about the material, and really brought everything to it. Like as Anna was saying earlier to me. Um, this was an intense experience. Like we all brought ourselves into it. It was an independent movie, so on these sets, you're like really have to be resourceful and like you know it, you can't. You were there because you love the project, and we had actors who were really committed. I mean, Anna and Justin were rehearsing on their off days. Isabel and Kyle were like had the best chemistry. Were so you know in love with the movie. They would come on their days off. Um, they were just everyone really came together to make this, and it felt like. It was a passion project for everyone, and that's really special. And I don't think that it's necessarily like the most common experience uh, for a director. Like it can be like really frustrating, but I had a very supportive cast and like crew, and Anna and Justin and Isabel and Kyle were so fantastic to work with. It was almost like it felt like cheating. Like I'm like, oh, is this is it supposed to be this? you know, easy to work with. I mean, Anna's a consummate professional, like, I'm very impressive, just really brings a lot um, to every performance. And I'm so excited that she was a part of the movie. I'm so glad they all said yes. I was like really surprised they all said yes. <laughs> well, I've got to ask, you're a, a Yale film school grad, right? correct? Yeah, um, Yale doesn't have a film school, but I went to Yale, I'm an undergraduate, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Did you, did that have any influence on, because I know you're a Chicago girl going out to Yale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did that influence anything in maybe Isabelle's character in that, in that, you know, that fish out of water situation? Right. Um, I see myself in all of the characters. Um, definitely B, um, Isabel's character in the movie is someone who I really relate with when I was in high school. I really felt like I was out of place and I wanted to like move away and do great things with my life. Um, I grew up in Chicago um, and I moved to Yale to study visual arts. So, you know, like I brought some of that, all of these, you know, some of myself to all of these characters. Like I see myself in, you know, Elizabeth and Drew and Andy and B. And I think that part of it is just, I grew up 
not necessarily being encouraged to do film and not knowing what my life would look like uh, past graduation. <laughs> and yeah, like B's frustration of like, I had the next 40 years of my life lined out or until I was 40, that was very much me. Um, and so it is very personal. Um, it comes from a very personal place of like, not really feeling like I fit in, um, like not being cool. Um, but also like the larger story, which is like just falling in love and like falling out of it and wanting to feel like that was okay and like that was normal.